in this bifurcation, um, we have a saddle point and we have a limit cycle. So here's our saddle point and um, here's our limit cycle. And for this saddle point, okay, there's a stable manifold, there's an unstable manifold. Um, this is a little strange. Here's the other piece of the stable manifold. It's encircling our limit cycle. This limit cycle is, um, is stable, is attracting. So here's our unstable manifold. It sneaks through and it's approaching this limit cycle. And of course in here, um, I guess I want uh, another color because this isn't really linked to the saddle. There's some spiral that uh, is going outward. Okay, so that's the starting picture. And in our bifurcation, what's going to happen is uh, this limit cycle is going to push outwards and collide with the with the two manifolds. Okay, so this this um, unstable manifold is going to get trapped in between the stable manifold and the limit cycle, and uh, we're going to have a homoclinic bifurcation where just everything collides with each other. So right now, this is a normal limit cycle. We go around it in a finite amount of time, but there's going to be a moment during the bifurcation where it basically becomes a homoclinic orbit and it's going to have an infinite period. And then um, after the bifurcation, this limit cycle is just going to be gone. It's not going to be there anymore. And we'll have just this unstable fixed point uh, remaining. Okay, so here we are before the limit cycle, uh, sorry, before the bifurcation. And now let's draw a picture where we get a little bit closer to the bifurcation. Okay, so um, we've drawn in our limit cycle. It's getting uh, a little bit closer to the saddle point. Uh, here's our saddle point, a stable manifold, an unstable manifold. Um, I'll just draw in this other unstable manifold that's uh, approaching this limit cycle. And um, let me draw in that uh, interior spiral. And now, um, These are, this stable manifold is very close to the unstable manifold. Um, see how the unstable manifold is trapped in here, trapped in between this limit cycle and uh, this stable manifold. And so as this limit cycle expands, uh, these two are just, they're gonna be forced to coincide. If the blue line coincides with the black line, uh, the green line is also going to have to coincide with them both. And so that's the moment we're about to get to. We're about to draw the bifurcation moment. Okay, uh, here we are. The limit cycle has expanded. So it had a nice finite period. Um, it had a finite period, but it was kind of slowing down as we approached the saddle. And now that it's hit the saddle, it actually has an infinite period. If we start somewhere on this cycle, uh, we go around and we approach the saddle, but we get stuck. We never reach the saddle and we take infinite time um, approaching it. Okay, and I've drawn in our stable and our unstable, but where's this other stable? Actually, it's, uh, it's this limit cycle. And what about our other unstable? Oh my gosh, they're all like exactly the same homoclinic orbit. Okay, here we go. We have this homoclinic orbit and it it was, so this, um, this nice stable manifold it now coincides with it. This previous unstable manifold got trapped and coincides with it. And this limit cycle now coincides with it. So everything just collided all at once, uh, right at the bifurcation point, um, really beautiful. And now uh, let's see what happens uh, right after the bifurcation. Oh, hmm, I'm not really sure what color to use. Okay, here's our uh, stable manifold, our unstable manifold. And now, huh, our unstable manifold comes out and instead of, instead of going into a spiral um, and instead it's, it's gonna come down like this. Okay, and then uh, we have a stable manifold and it's, uh, it's a stable manifold and it's from that unstable orbit. So I should be drawing it in purple Our purple, uns one of our purple unstable orbit trajectories is now the stable manifold. Uh, okay, so those were the steps. We had a limit cycle, 
and it expanded until it collided with the saddle node. At the point it collided with the saddle node, it formed a homoclinic orbit, and then afterwards, uh, our limit cycle was gone. That was the whole homoclinic bifurcation.